Ancient built a partial radio platform and the world's largest single dish temple. It was built in 2016. And we are go uh, going to talk about this location. Uh, the full name is 500 meter a partial spherical telescope. Uh, here we can see from the picture it is located in southwest of China. And more specifically, it is at the uh, depression, which is the national basin. Uh, so why does uh, scientists choose this location to build the, uh, the telescope? Uh, they need to consider about the danger and interference. Therefore, the depression where the telescope it is located uh, is a unique landscape with a rocket, uh, which means that it can prevent the flooding uh, due to its natural uh, drainage. Also, it can let the excess water to uh, seep underground. Moreover, it is located five kilometers away from the human interference, such as light pollution uh, in the form of radio signal from our electronic goods. Uh, it can cause the radio waves received by the telescope to be not so accurate. And now we are talk about uh, what types of electromagnetic radiation it detects. Uh, it detects the radio waves, and also we learned in class that uh, the, uh, the radio waves is transparent to the atmosphere. So, which means that the telescope doesn't need to build in high level of altitude or in the space. So here is the wavelength and the frequency. Oh, hi, my name is Edson, and I'm going to talk about the structure of the. Uh, radio telescope. But first, we want to see how the telescope works, radio telescope works. So normally, uh, we got a radio source coming down to the reflector, and then it reflects to the second reflector called the sub-reflector, and back to the feed form. However, uh, the radio, the fast radio telescope is such a massive in diameter, with 500 meter, and that our effective illuminated aperture is only 300 meter without any loss. So. Therefore, we need a substitution in order to achieve uh, all the uh, collect all the data from it. So, what do we have here is the structure of the fast telescope, and as you can see, this is the main active spherical reflector, and radio waves are coming down here, and this is the illuminated area, only 300 meters. So, what happened here is that we're trying to uh, manipulate the cabin into moving in a pathway, kind of a circular pathway around the spherical reflector with the help of the cable and the tower and also a laser tracker to pinpoint the cabin's location uh, to maintain its course. Um, also we have a steward platform which I will be say, uh, discussing more in the later slide. So information about the panels that make up the big reflectors. It is very heavy, 427 to 483 kilogram each, and it's made out of 4,450 panels. So other components it have, it's installed in is the next generation archive system, NJS, that is developed in Australia by, by the International Center for Radio Astronomy. And what this does is that it reduces the cost overall and it helps online and offline processing capability. So just in case the power is down, you still got the uh, information to store. Uh, there's also easy integration into other format that's easy to share information with other countries. Uh, so as I've mentioned before, there's a Stuart platform. So what Stuart platform does is that uh, it, it provides the movement of six degree of freedom, meaning that it can go up and down, left and right, forward and backward. Um, it was titled by the designer, D. Stuart. That's why it's get a name. And it's also got free linear movement, meaning that it's at X, Y, and Z. So this helped to, um, to prevent uh, the wind disturbance to create invalid reading. Hello, my name is Bay. My part is to introduce the achievements and future goals and why Chinese government built them fast. And for the achievements, there's several, um, 100, and 100 new pulses as candidates have been detected by FAST. And other radio telescopes have confirmed that 71.5% um, of candidates are pulses. Now, pulses are used by astronomers to detect the gravitational waves as a general scientific tool throughout the Milky, Milky Way galaxy. The next point is the first repeating FRB 
sources <coughs> uh, was discovered by dust in a small amount of time. Now I move on to future goals. This spring, scientists plan to search for hydrogen in space by using fast An end of it is to update knowledge in the evolution of stars, history of galaxies, and high energy physics areas, since hydrogen is the one of the most abundant and ancient chemical elements. And next point is, and that's real present into sky investigations during a period of five years. For example, you will search for planets outside of the solar system with use of magnetic fields in order to find another appropriate living environment for humans. Now moving on to why these researches have been implemented that fast. Radio telescope might be the best telescope to absorb FRBs and pulses. This can aid us in the discovery of the origin of FRBs. Furthermore, by collecting more pulses data, we can study more about future stars while FAST is one of the greatest radio telescopes to now. When a giant star collects into a revolving neutron star, the pulsar is formed. The strong radiation beam is emanated by the neutron star with the rotation of it. The beam is invisible to the 